Welcome back to the channel. I've had a lot of questions as the videos start to get more and more. What kind of actual mountain setup I have. You know, when I first put the live scope on, a year and a half ago now, um, that's my little girl. <laughs> first put it on about a year and a half ago, they didn't have a lot of the cool mounts, uh, a lot of the mounts that extended and the fold away mounts. So I had to kind of get creative because I knew what I wanted. I wanted a mount that would be low for bass fishing and was able to extend up when I was sitting in my chair, white perch fishing. So <laughs> you'll have to excuse her on this one. She's just learning how to walk and she won't stand up for everything. So I had to get kind of, um, you know, I had, I had to kind of engineer some stuff. And, uh, and I made my mount for about 40 bucks and it extends up, it swivels, it's secure, it doesn't rattle, uh, easy to turn, easy to take down. Uh, easy to take and grab my mount and put it in my truck if I'm gonna park my boat like if I take it to work or something like that So let's take a look at it and see what we got here. Tell me what you think. Remember like subscribe comment Hey, tell me what you think what you like what you don't like about it. Remember. I didn't have them good mounts and maybe one day <laughs> uh, Maybe soon I'll buy me a mount and actually perfect, you know professional built mount But this one's doing me a good job. So I'm gonna stick with it. So let's take right, a look guys. at it. Here we are. We're gonna take a look at the whole setup. I have um, ignore the little what I have done when I first bought uh, the live scope about a year and a half ago and put it on my boat, they didn't have an awful lot of mounts. Um, so I had to kind of engineer my own, which is not a bad thing because I love the engineer type stuff. So what I did was I wanted a mount that came up tall, like the mounts that come up now, and I wanted a mount that got down low when I was bass fishing or needed it out of the way. So I sat down and thought about it and I came up with this, I had some stuff laying around. It cost me about 40 bucks total to build the whole mount. Um, the top part, the base for the fish finders, and it'll actually mount two fish finders here. That is simply the bottom of a boat seat. That is the base. That is the same thing that goes right up under here. Bought one of those, painted it black, wasn't that much. This is the base that goes in the floor. It is identical to this right here. There it is right there. Flipped it over. Flipped it over. And now this part will fit in this part. But then I wanted to be able to extend it. Um, you know, when you're white perch fishing and shit in the chair, you want it right in your face. Or crappie or sack of lay. Some down south Louisiana call it. North Louisiana calls them white perch. It's crappie everywhere else. So I was able to take, and you can actually do this with a couple of different ways. You can use a regular boat uh, pedestal, or you can get one of the adjustable ones, and you can adjust it up and down. Now, I just use a regular boat pedestal. But let me show you. It's sturdy. It's strong. The fish finder swivels. Very easy. Uh, I've got a plastic bushing in there you can replace. Uh, it's strong. It's sturdy. But let me show you how easy it is to drop it down like if I'm bass fishing. Literally, I'm going to do this one-handed. Pick it up. Remove the pole. I always put the pole right there. Never goes anywhere. Put that back in there. And now, we have a unit that's low on the deck, like your normal, traditional setup. So now you can bass fish, not have to worry about hitting your lure on it or anything like that. But, for the most part, i found that I leave it up. It doesn't seem to bother me. But how easy is it to get it up? One-handed, hold the camera. Set it down. Put that back in. This goes to the top. And there we go. Now, there's another great advantage to this. If I'm, like, say, uh, I'm at the pulling my boat to work and I don't want to leave my fish finder sitting up there, all I have to do is come around the back here, unhook the two cables, uh, the power cable and the live scope cable pick up this thing, put it in my boat, in my truck, and there you go. But that's my setup. Cheap, about 40 bucks to do the whole thing, and not 250 bucks. Now, I do like some of the new ones, but I can't justify spending 250 bucks over 40 bucks when it gets me every single thing that I want. It's solid, it's secure, it's steady. All the parts I could build, for 250 bucks, I could build five of these. So, that's my live scope mount and setup would i do it different if i were doing it again today i can't say that i would because i like to take the 250 
take the $200 I saved and put it elsewhere into other things. But that's just me. That's how I am. Um, so there we go. And, um, you know, if you have any questions about it or want to know how to do it or you think it's stupid, be nice. But let me know. Please watch. Please subscribe. Uh, guys, comment on it. Let me know something. We're trying to get away from Facebook. Facebook is shadow banning the crap out of me, and I am sick of dealing with them. So let's get away from them. Watch the videos on YouTube. Share the videos if you want on Facebook. That's fine. But I'm going to begin to move more and more away from Facebook and get to where I'm just with YouTube. But guys, thanks for watching again. Hope you keep watching. Hope you keep subscribing. Hope you keep liking the videos. If you have any ideas, let me know. Thanks for watching.